big lift bringing Kilman back. But his kidnapper's still out there. And if it turns out to be one of these cons, still can't believe I bought the reform program bull. Why does anyone take any job? Credits, and these folks have plenty. But I mean, come on. What they're selling here? Fixing the settled systems by giving criminals career training? You really think the Crimson Fleet are just one typing course away from becoming model citizens? Never been on the receiving side of a visit from the fleet, huh? And look, I know some folks have it tough out there. I've employed my fair share of ex-cons over the years. But you know how they turn their lives around? They did their time and got jobs instead of making the same bad choices again. Those are options everyone's already got. No retreat required. But I'm sure you didn't come here just for a debate. Let's talk about something else. I'm the construction foreman. It's my job to make sure the Elios retreat gets built to whatever standard these folks want so they can run this reform program or whatever. We'll be around. Is a hell of a thing to see. Constellation's best friend.
fox must hate you. You seem to have weathered that trek well enough. Were you able to find anything at the facility? Hmm. Not a lot to go on. Monica, anything you can do with this? I can take a look. Oh, it's encoded. Made to look scrambled. And done badly. Looks like... There. Seems there were two of them. Oh my god. It's all here. The accidents, the kidnapping, Greg's attack. These two. They did it all. Any mention of who they are? They're not with the construction crew, are they? Mm, no names. But there are a pair of ID numbers. They're with the Tracker's Alliance. The Alliance sent two bounty hunters? Here? What? Our bounties are all paid. I'm not seeing an Alliance contract or documentation. I think this is off the books. So, a couple of trackers have decided to haunt us on their own free time. Why? Doesn't say. It's really not that impressive. Used to sell these on the semi-regular in my old life. A cheating spouse wants to document all their flings without fear of their partner finding out? Just use one of these bad boys. It's Computer Hacker 101 stuff. And it sure doesn't explain why they've decided to harass us. It's the official guild of the galaxy's bounty hunters. Known for relentlessly stalking their targets in pursuit of a payday. To a tracker, any person with an outstanding record is a coin purse, ready to be cut open and emptied of value. Regardless of the circumstances surrounding said person's record, there are few groups more ruthless. Though, it's surprising that they've intervened here, where there's no obvious money to be made. That certainly seems in the realm of possibility. So then this is an easy fix. They're bounty hunters. We pay them to leave us alone. And make ourselves a target for every other hunter in the universe. We need to take a stand. Says the one guy physically incapable of taking one. We're not doing anything until we actually find them. 
Any mention in there of where our trackers might be now? Mm, sounds like they're on a supply run, outside the system. Then we got a little time. Given their background, and ours, I expect you're the only person here they might actually listen to. Would you be willing to act as an emissary on our behalf? Slate's not big on details. There's two of them that clearly aren't, but that's about all we've got to go on. But trackers aren't usually the type to take prisoners when it's not required. So the fact that they've thus far remained largely non-violent, well, it means they might be willing to negotiate. With the right person, of course. Which I think, in this case, is you. I'm sure we can find a way to solve this issue, which won't require bloodshed. Let's just pay them and be done with it. I mean, we clearly need more manpower anyway. I'll hire them on as contractors. To hell with that. We know where they live. Let's have our friend here get the drop on him and send him to the great beyond. The last thing we need is the galaxy thinking that's how we solve our problems around here, Mr. D'Angelo. I would request you try to avoid any violence. But if you're looking for suggestions on how to proceed, well, it seems we've got opinions to spare. They haven't killed anyone. Not yet, at least. Which means I bet they're willing to talk. Love, I can only guess at what these two might be after. But it's clear they perceive something about us as a threat. They're afraid. And all you can do with fear is try and understand it. So, just listen to them, okay? Hear what they have to say and see if you can make whatever it is they're worried about a little less scary. Good luck out there. You looking for my suggestion? I don't think they're gonna respect anything other than force. But I think Sloane's not gonna be happy if you handle it that way. What's up? You want to talk negotiation strategies? I'll help as best I can. Had to deal with my fair share of their kind over the years. You don't get into that job to make it rich. You get into it to be your own boss and prove how tough you are. So, my advice? Let them know that pushing around a bunch of counselors just makes them look like bullies, not tough. They've got all the necessities. Be careful with those goons. These bounty hunters need to be dealt with. Ah, I'm the facility's chief administrator, co-head of the whole retreat with Sloan. She handles most of the resident side of things. Making sure we've got the right people for the program and those people have the right tools to succeed in their own development. I keep the lights on and make sure things hum along smoothly. Currently, very little. But once we're open, should that day ever come, we hope to have all manner of training and personal development courses available for our residents. Most of our staff are formally incarcerated themselves, so we hope to be able to provide a level of service unlike any other in the galaxy. I think you should offer them money, and I'm willing to help. Here, all I have liquid at the moment. Hopefully it'll be enough. Take care, please.
You. Who are you and what the hell are you doing here? And just who the holy hell are you? See? I told you Kilman was gonna lead them to us. Should have slit his throat when we had the chance. Quiet. Listen, unless you're here to tell us those convicts have decided to close up shop, then we've got nothing to discuss. I couldn't care less about the cons. They can huff fish innards until they rot for all we care. But this retreat, if they actually succeed, keep criminals out of the bounty system, well, the galaxy probably doesn't need so many trackers at that point, does it? And then maybe the big boys like the UC and the Collective set up programs of their own, just like Elios, put us all out of a job. Now, better to nip in the bud now before it becomes a threat. Which is why I'm not interested in discussing anything except the date and time they're shutting their doors. More than you can offer. Only way this stops is if that place closes up for good. Take the easy way. It's less painful, and so much easier. Hence the name. That's so. I... I guess that's a good point. What? That's... that's not what this is. We're tough. <sighs> Fine. We'll leave the retreat alone. Can't make any promises about us being the last, though. Just get out, all right? There you are. You were gone for quite a while, love. Are you all right? Were you able to find our trackers? That's... That's the best news I've had in quite a while. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, love. This place, all of us, we are in your debt. There is just one last piece of business, though. Nevin asked to speak to you, in private. He's waiting for you up in the office. Ah, there you are. 
So, first things first, I need to say, well, thank you. And we are exceedingly grateful for it. It's just, the situation you set right, with the trackers, it's one we don't want to find ourselves in again. Luckily, we have someone, our founding donor in fact, who has offered to reach out to the Alliance, ensure their good behavior going forward. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what exactly occurred. I've already shared my own insights, but, well, she wants to talk to you too. Is that something you might be amenable to? Our benefactor has said she'd prefer to do the introductions herself. But you can rest assured she wants only to thank you in person, hear your side of the story. Nothing more sinister than that. Ah, she'll be pleased to hear it. Head to Aquila City in the Cheyenne system. Check in with Justin Sneed, her security chief. And I would ask you to try and be polite. She's the only reason we're here. Good old Aquila City. One thing I'll say is it's better than the UC. Your ship's not half bad. Tower's closed. Come back some other time. You're them, huh? I've got two rules for this little meeting. Rule number one, you're not to share anything you discuss up there. This is a private matter, and we're going to keep it that way. Rule two, you decide to get playful with that weapon, we're going to have serious problems. Think you can abide by those? Good, Miss Lance is waiting upstairs. You can go on up. And that must make you our guest. Please, take a seat. Now, you may already know who I am. Raisha Lance, CEO Laredo Firearms. And you, I know all about. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the retreat. Truly, it's a project that's near and dear to my heart. I'm not the sole donor, but yes, the retreat is a project I've been trying to foster for some time now. My attempt to improve the plight of humanity, even if just in a minor way. Which is why I'm so thankful for your intervention on its behalf. Now, I presume Nevin already got you up to speed. I need details before I talk to the heads of the Trackers Alliance. Make sure their members understand the retreat's off-limits. So if you don't mind, I'd like to just jump right into it. Lily here will be taking notes as we go. Now, Nevin said all the various incidents afflicting the retreat, they all stemmed from this pair of rogue bounty hunters. Do I have that right? There were a streak of thefts and accidents leading up to Mr. Kilman's kidnapping. We'd presume they were just bad luck or local fauna. Excel's not exactly the most hospitable of worlds, but Nevin made it sound as if those bounty hunters might have been responsible for it all. And I was hoping you could confirm if that was the case or not. Ah, I'll be sure that's noted. But you did manage to get those two to leave the retreat alone. You mind my asking how you accomplished that?
two trackers and you just talked them down? That's quite the feat. I'm interested in the details, though. How exactly did it all play out? I'm sure it was. I've dealt with trackers. They tend to be a focused sort. So, only other thing I wanted to ask, and I'm just looking for an opinion here. Is there anything in your eyes that could have been done to prevent this happening? After everything I've heard from you and Nevin, I'm inclined to agree. It'll take time to get the right people in place for this kind of work, but I'll make sure it's addressed. But that should give me enough to present to the Alliance. Thank you for making the time. Now, what you did, well, it deserves something more than just a couple of firm thank yous. Here, I want you to have these. They're a rare make, but I think you've earned it. Now. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we went our separate ways? It's something that's been on my mind for a while now. How best to help the galaxy's incarcerated population? Humanity's tried plenty of bad ideas. Throwing them in jail and forgetting about them. The UC gave that a go way back when. Took all their criminals to a penal colony on Suvorov and left them to their own devices. Well. Those folks didn't appreciate that sort of treatment, took over the colony, and now we call them the Crimson Fleet. Next, we tried making them pay fines instead of going to jail. Except if you don't have the money, that's no sort of improvement at all, is it? Bad idea after bad idea. I thought it was time we tried something new. That's where the plans for the retreat came from. Our attempt at doing things different. You make lots of friends in my position. Friends in the Free Star Collective. Friends in the UC. The sort of people with influence over things. Like, say, how much a locality is allowed to spend on Alliance contracts each quarter. When the Alliance heads grasp that it's better for us all to be friends, I expect they'll leave the retreat well enough alone. That's kind of you, but without your help, it might have stayed just a goal. You have my sincere thanks. Now if you'll excuse me, as you've seen, there's plenty to be done. Hello. Be safe now. Miss Lance is the one you want to speak to. So, because of this little episode with the trackers, Nevin's agreed to let me hire my own security team. Heavens know we need it. I would have figured it all out eventually. But still, thanks. Couple of damn trackers with a vendetta. I, uh, well, I clearly wasn't fair with these folks. Yeah. Sure. You know who I miss? My bunk. You think it's thinking about me? Because I'm sure thinking about it. You don't know how much I miss. 
minus the sound of power tools. Just happening through our neck of the woods, stranger? Nevin told me about your summons. Our uh, donor wasn't too hard on you, I hope. It's something she had asked for. She doesn't want her firm's reputation and ours to affect one another. But I'm mostly just curious how things went. She can be a hammer when the situation requires, but this project holds a pretty special place in her heart, so I'm sure she was feeling grateful. Well, thanks to your little chat, our donor's doing everything she can to upend the various roadblocks in our way. We're in the process of vetting more security, looking at some additional and more agreeable contractors. Whatever gets this place closer to becoming a reality, opening still a ways off, but we'd be going nowhere if you hadn't wandered in. That's hard to say for certain. We're only just now in a place where we can actually assess how long everything's going to take. But with time, we'll get there. And that's thanks to you. That makes two of us. Thank you again, love. For you, our doors will always be open. You got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. I don't got many friends, so I figure I gotta level with you. My past keeps showing up. I should get ahead of it before I get behind it. <sighs> Hell, this is tougher than I thought it was gonna be. He's got a violent past, Slayer. So did I. That, that means a lot. You know, when I turned 18, my dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. There is a way to take the wonder out of space. It was working for that outfit. Every milligram of helium-3 accounted for. Timetables down to the second. Too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. Yeah, that's about the size of it. So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Hell, I was still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but... Suddenly, God help me, it was fun. Up until then, I tried my best to be the dutiful son. I hated it, but man, I tried. This, this was a rush, it was a thrill. Lying through my teeth to customs, even that shady delivery guy, it felt like I was finally, truly living. And you're a hell of a lot smarter than I was. So, uh, more jobs started coming, and everywhere I went, Suddenly, dangerous people were much better armed. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons, maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. Not directly. And I'd tell myself they'd get guns from someone else. But in my heart, I knew blood was on my hands. Soon the boss man's relying on me, and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. There are whole weeks that are blank. Never had a lick of trouble. <sighs> Till I did. At the time, I thought I was the bee's knees. But looking back, a lot of it was dumb luck. I swear my damn name got me out of trouble most of the time. Oh, you recall like Solomon? They just waved me through. 
I had booze enough and drugs enough to never really have to look too hard in the mirror. And I knew if I did, I wouldn't like what I saw or where it was going. Yeah, but it takes two to tango. To this day, I don't know what I was running that last job, but it was tasty enough a whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Now, a sane man would have been scared, but I looked at my pissant trading skiffs dual cannons and shouted, Oh, this is on! Yeah, I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. And that should have been the end. But that's when the rangers showed up. It just felt right. Like this. This is what I was meant to be. And I was young, no care in the world. And I thought, <laughs> what, there's only seven of you? I like those odds. I don't even know how I did it. Pure instinct, but it wasn't enough. And then, dependable and straight as an arrow, Lillian Hart came on the calm, and well, it's like hearing the voice of an angel. The Rangers took them out, no problem. All that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the Rangers were <laughs> impressed with me. Offered me a job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but... Lillian... She... Saw something in me. And I took the job. And that's it. All my cards are on the table. Look, I'm guilty as hell of smuggling who knows what. And there are people I dealt with. Bad people. That would recognize me. But I swear, I did more questionable stuff for the Rangers, under orders, mind you, than I ever did as a smuggler. Officially, my cargo was destroyed by the fleet. Unofficially, hell yes, she knew. She jettisoned it herself. I don't know why she did it, but she stuck her neck out for me. And after she helped me sober up and put the mess I was back together. Well, after I hit bottom, <laughs> I learned a lot fast. But the thing that scares me it's Cora. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Sometimes the way she looks at me, I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone... <sighs> That's easy for you to say. Just so you know, all this... This is why Lillian is... Something else. And I really need to own that. And have a tough talk with Lillian. Tell her about that follow-through you mentioned. Cora's at an important age right now. Every visit counts. You can't flake on her. Well, for now, let's do something more cheery. Like getting a root canal. <laughs>